A common approach to creating percussion sounds with subtractive synthesizers is to use the filter as an oscillator. So you turn the resonance up to maximum and it feeds back and makes a sine tone. This may, has the advantage that we can easily sweep the pitch of this tone with our envelope generator and uh, that can create some tom-tom and kick drum type sounds pretty easily. So if we start by turning off our oscillator, we'll do that by listening to the sub oscillator but turning it off so it makes no sound. Then we'll put our cutoff frequency down somewhere where we can hear it and turn our resonance up to maximum and we get a sine tone. Now let's give it a percussive envelope, our sustain zero. And now let's sweep the filter a little bit. That sounds like a 1970s syndrome. Let's make the frequency a bit lower. So now we start to get to electronic tom sort of sound. We can change the amount of sweep a little bit. We can change that click by uh, shortening or, or lengthening the attack, I should say. Less thump. So we have a, a basic tom-tom sound. We could obviously compress that. Sounds a bit like this. Make it a bit bigger. Could add a little bit of noise to it if we liked. We're starting to lose our uh, sine wave here. Okay, let's turn the compression, the compression off and turn this into a kick drum. Let's make it a bit lower, speed it up. Give it a bit more click if you'd like. Could be too much click. And that can become a kick drum. Let's turn our compression back on. Too much click. We can fine tune this. Try some different filter shapes. Sometimes I would use some distortion on it. So that's a couple of different sounds that we can, we can create using our filter as an oscillator by turning up the resonance to maximum.